Davis. Davis. Alright, Davis. Davis? Davis, Davis yeah. Alright, alright. Hey, Miss Davis. Davis. Today we're going to speak about four examples. Two is two things that are copywritten that should not have copyrights, and the other two that don't have copyrights and should have copyrights. I'm Richard Batista. And I'm Renee Moretti. All right, yeah. All right, there we go. All right, so I'll start off. I have uh, music copyrights, which are interesting because they have two types of copyrights. One is a master copy, which they can use your original music for a soundtrack or anything in a movie or a TV show. And you as an artist are not going to like the second one. People can actually sing your song in a movie or a film, and they also make money for it, but I don't think that should be right. Synchronization shouldn't be right uh, because the artist shouldn't be concerned in how the song performs in the movie, uh, only how the movie actually will be judged. So that's more about the director and whoever's creating the film should worry about the actual results of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, there's a big chance that the composer can, the composer of the song can actually get more exposure or views because of how either terribly bad or terribly funny the song could have been performed in the thing. I, I could see it goes both ways. It's, it's good to help an uh, up-and-coming artist get established and an artist that's already established a couple of pennies. Yeah, even if it's make, indie films or yeah. somewhere else, you still might attain some type of music crowd because everybody loves music. Yeah, right. So that's my argument for making uh, synchronization copyrights legal for everybody to use. Now in my discussion, I will speak about the fortune cookie. And fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah. Well, the cookie, like you want to. I, I believe that what's inside the fortune cookie should have literal rights. We all have eaten a fortune cookie every time you go to a Chinese food store, like a restaurant. You know, you you just waiting to have that fortune cookie. It's like the dessert, like just, just that, that last that, crunch. That last crunch, and on top of that, it's a piece of food, and you eat it and. But you don't eat what's inside, and you take out the paper, it's like three inches long, two and a half inches wide, and it tells you a quote and a message, and what's cool about it is that somebody wrote that. Obviously, an artist, an author. Also, you get to learn, too, right, on the back side. Yeah. There's always, there's a you message, but there's always... You also get to learn Chinese, you know, sometimes, me hao is hello, <laughs> you know, I learned that, because I ate the fortune cookie, <laughs> and there's lucky numbers, too, which, you know... I believe though that that aspect of that fortune cookie, it, it 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 it's like a way of marketing and bringing people back to the restaurant. And what's crazy is that over 50 million Americans eat fortune cookies weekly. That's I mean, a lot of fortune. That's a lot of fortune cookies. <laughs> so I feel that that you know we're reading these words of wisdom. They're very inspirational, motivational, some of them are spiritual, and someone is writing this. It's an author and an artist. I believe that that person somehow should receive royalties for their writings. And I believe that each restaurant should pay royalties and not just go to a, a factory and buy a, a whole, you know, a whole massive amount of fortune cookies and just hand them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they each restaurant should have their own there, it's like you know, each restaurant, yeah, their own cookie, their own type of cookie, you know, with their own words of wisdom. If they want to pay their artists, own language, to do their work, yeah. You know, learn German, you can and, learn any type of language. Just and and nowadays, and yeah, nowadays, you know, everybody's using these fortune cookies, posting them up on Instagram, you know, using yeah. them in their songs. Who knows? You know, <laughs> I ain't gonna mention any names. No names. So you know, pay respects, man. <laughs> pay some royalties, and that that's that's my defense right there against something that has no royalties and should have royalties and something that has no copyrights and should have copyrights. Alright, so I have a topic for um, the next which is something that doesn't have copyrights really but it should. Um, in my perspective, if I'm a photographer myself but as you, I've done a photo shoot with you and we, yeah. um, I take the rights to the photo usually so it should be 50-50, though. My, yeah, exactly. It's my, my face, but his 
fifty. His, you know, if the if the picture's digital, it's like a digital copy, but physical copy, you know, it's my my face there. You know, it's tangible. Yeah. So I want to give you some type of credibility or some type of royalty if it does happen. Fifty fifty. Right. And I think every photographer and model should do that. It would increase how much they actually want to work together, and how they'll know exactly how much feedback they have. So photographers get more feedback, but models. They keep on shooting, keep on working, but they take more time to actually do a better piece of art and now, take let, serious. let's say if you paid the model to for you to take the pictures now, are you 100% owner or can you still do 50-50? 50-50 would apply all the time, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Because you're still paying <laughs> for a service like that and, you know, a model is what sells, but a photographer is also now, it'll behind be, the camera. It'll be vice versa. If the model pays you to take the picture, it's still 50-50. Yeah, That's what's it's up. a more competitive game. It's, <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> now, my la are you done with yeah, your discussion? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Now, I I agree with him. Now, the last discussion, I feel that the national anthem should have no copyrights at all. Any national anthem, yeah, anywhere in the world. The national. Anthem. The national anthem. It's why, a musical. Why the national? Because all types of songs have musical rights, and um, True that. True. but I believe that the national anthem should be automatically placed in a public domain, right off the get go, right off the bat. Because if someone gives you the opportunity to have a song that's gonna be remember you and it's gonna remember your country for the rest of eternity, till this world you know ceases to exist, and I doubt it. Because the Peruvians, they were, they were, you know, uh, no, you know, no disrespect, but no. the Mayans weren't very good calculating in their calendar, no. No. Um, the end of the world. So I feel that that all national anthems should have some type of value. Value, yes, they all you you value them, but value. should be in a public domain. And why do I say this? Because you know, if you use it in a film, you know, like he was saying, you should have you know you should you should be able to do it you know why not it's 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 public it's a public it's in a public domain and it should stay there for forever and i have a good example because in ireland the national anthem out there uh is called a soldier song and it just got placed in the crate of the public domain um the song was it was bought by um uh, a uh this guy's name is michael Nona, and he bought the rights in 1933. And he did this because he wanted to make sure that the national anthem was accessible to the public. And he believed that there shouldn't be any performance rights, and it should be 100% property of the public domain, and it should not have no mechanical rights, and no performance rights, and no publishing rights at all. Um, and I feel like this is this is the way it should be. Um, I don't know how many more anthems in the world are owned by someone and we still have to pay for it because I know the NFL pays for the Star Spangled <laughs> Banner to be played. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, nah, it's true though. <laughs> what? It, it's true. The, they do. They do. They, they do pay, pay for it. it. Every, every time? Should, yeah, every, every time. time. Yeah. yeah. Every time. Okay. I think we're done. We should just leave it like that. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. <laughs>